The story you're about to see will make you angry, maybe make you smile for a moment, and probably make you cry. Donald McLean would have been 30 years old today. Instead, the official records will show him as having died at just 22 years of age. This Holden Commodore heading outbound at around 8.30 last night, running a red light colliding with this Mitsubishi Lancer, two males in each car. The Commodore driver fleeing the scene, police believe he had been drinking, major crime squad detectives investigating. The phone call was the worst thing that I could ever imagine. Heather walked in uh, and it turned out to be with a policeman to inform me of what had happened. He stood there and roared like a bull. We just broke down and it was just heartbreaking. To see what had actually happened, to see the scars of what had happened from a car accident, it was the most horrible thing of my life. And I've had so many nightmares. Watching his coffin drive away, and I knew, because he's going to get cremated, that I'd never see him again. I can't give him a high five for scoring a try. You know, I can't give him you know, a hug to sort of say, you bloody played a good game today. You wish you could have seen the car coming, you know. You wish you could have done something to, just in that split second, you know, maybe to change the way things happen. This is the warning sign that the driver who killed Donald would have seen. From this sign to the intersection, he would have had 12.7 seconds to stop but he chose not to, and he killed Donald, and from that time on, life was so different. 12.7 seconds. What happened to Donald Winton McLean, along with the deaths of so many innocent people, was caused by a driver who should not have been on the road. As simple as that. But let's leave the final words of this sad, sad story to Heather McLean, who has a mother's heartfelt plea for all drivers. They can stop this happening simply by getting a sober bob, getting a taxi, just not thinking that they're invincible, that you know it's never going to happen to them, because it does. It happens to me. I'm no one special. It's, you know, it happened to me, it happened to Don, it's happened to my family, and it's destroying. <laughs>